What is going on, Swim Keepers? This is Rob with FlipAquatics.com. Today, we are doing construction in this room. Um, not really construction, I guess deconstruction. We got a lot of the tanks broke down. Uh, Tyler and Jeff have been working hard to get that done. As you can see, there's empty spaces everywhere behind us. And uh, today, our project is to get this whole rack broke down. So we're gonna be moving tanks, we're gonna be doing things, and uh, there's T back there catching stuff already. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna free up a lot of space, and then we're gonna be ready for construction. All right, so I just finished catching this side. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll, uh, I'll take these guys over to the table and show you guys what they all look like. All right, so here's what we got so far out of that rack. We got a bunch of uh, black mixed pintos, a bunch of different types, grades, patterns, everything. And then we got a group of red nanasties. Uh, these are just mainly lower grade. Um, there's a group of them there. We got one solo black King Kong that made it through. Uh, we got a group of mixed red pintos. A bunch of different types in there. Uh, this is just an Anubius plant and some uh, chocolate rabbit snails. And then these are supposedly black King Kongs, but there's some that have like, you know, unique patterns on the top, like, like this guy. See so how he's got the couple white spots on top. That guy's got the white line. So those are actually Pintos. And then over here, we got some uh, Red King Kongs. Which, you know, these guys actually do look pretty good. And so, I'm gonna get these guys acclimating. And I'll show you guys that. All right, so one thing new that we did, we're actually in the new room right now, as you can see. Uh, we reset this whole rack. Tyler and Jeff have been working on this, and uh, and they got this all set up for Caridina. Uh, we put you know the live bacteria in here. Got these tanks all ready to go, remineralized. And uh, here's some of the other stuff we pulled out. These are um, black fancy tigers, looking really good. Um, these are Thai micro crabs. There's one right there. A couple in there. And we got, it. I guess these are just some mixed uh, mixed Taiwan bees, some crystal reds in there, different stuff like that. So more or less, it's just a mixed Caridina tank. Um, actually, Red Fancy Tiger is actually pretty pretty nice. Might have to snatch them out of there. But yeah, so we got this whole system set up. We're gonna start getting things acclimated now, and uh, hopefully we'll try it really good. All right, so the next step is drain the tank. So I got two siphons going, I usually get them uh, pinched in the corner like that so they suck as you know as low as they can. Got that one over there, flowing into this bucket. And then in the bottom of this bucket I got a pump and that pump is you know pumping the water over there. Got a plug in right here. So it's going really good. A little bit longer and we'll be uh, we'll be all done, right T? Hopefully. <laughs> Alright so side one completely broken down which is just, I mean, awesome. Like, I'm, I'm super, super excited to see this room start turning into what it needs to be. And, uh, and it's really coming together. So this is all taken down. We got five more tanks on that side to catch stuff out of. Then we're gonna move those tanks around. And then, uh, and then we're gonna start construction on this, or deconstruction. Uh, Mark drain these two down up here. There's one right here and one in the back. And uh, T's still catching some stuff. T, you, how many times you get sprayed with water? Four times. <laughs> yeah, this is always a messy job. But uh, yeah, so this is going really good. I'm really excited. Can't wait to uh, see the market start. Oh, I already started. <laughs> we finally got Mark to come to work. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mark's been doing a good job. He's making a lot of noise right now. But we're, we pretty much got that whole side done. We got this side pretty much done. We just got to move all the tanks real quick and then uh, drain the top two. And then uh, we're really getting there. Mark's got some of the wood taken down already. The frames. 
And then uh, we just gotta like cut out this thing, gotta get all the lights out of here still, which they got most of them already. So definitely some stuff to do. Definitely some stuff still to do. The ponds are moved out. The rack is starting to be taken down. Mark's working hard. He's going diving this weekend, so he's trying to get out of here. We get that section out. We're getting this section out. It's uh, it's coming along, buddy, ain't it? Yeah. Looking good. The gun that we use to build this place, we're using to tear this place apart. <laughs> Same gun. After it was stolen. After it was stolen, that is true. We got these two tanks moved over. So this rack's cleared off. Now we're taking down this last final part. This is already pretty divided. Out with the old, in with the new, right Marcus? Yeah. Right, Steve? All right, so as you can see behind me, I am standing where the fish tanks used to be right here and they're all taken down. So that's huge, huge step in the right direction. Super excited. Um, next week, the goal is to get this rack done. And so that will be huge. And then it's just, you know, just keep moving along, doing something, and uh, and hopefully we'll have this, this room done uh, within a month. Because this is gonna take one week. I'm guessing that will take one week. And then we'll have two weeks of construction. And then we'll be looking really good. So super excited, so pumped. I love construction, I love doing new things. So that's what we got going on today. All right, so let's fast forward about two, maybe three weeks, I'm really not sure. And staying behind me, is the fish room that we have been deconstructing. So there's a lot that has changed. Uh, we have tanks just stored over here. We got part of the ceiling taken out. Um, we have to do this. And, and this is just a beast of a job. Um, luckily, I didn't have to do it. <laughs> Tyler and, uh, and Jeff tackled this one day um, because we, we got caught up on all of our orders. And so we still have one, two, three lines to go, plus a couple little boards over here. Um, the second rack is completely gone out of here. Um, we just have this rack to do. So what we're actually going to do is, Tyler just took uh, all the plumbing down. We're going to take these off, um, put a tarp over the whole thing, and then uh, and then we should be good. And then we're going to do construction in here, kind of move the tanks around. And uh, yeah, it's just there's a lot to do. I got to go up and take finish taking this electrical out, get it all back to this box, take the fan down. And basically we're just redoing this room to look just like the other room. The one thing that we are doing different in this room is if you can see these racks, these are actually, um, <laughs> these are actually this middle section right here flipped upside down. So before these were the legs right there and that one, and now they're gonna be this way. And we're actually gonna fit three or six 40 gallon breeders on a rack instead of two. And then we're actually gonna run these down this wall. So it's gonna be 40 gallon rack, 40 gallon rack. Next dive over, we're gonna be 40 gallon rack, 40 gallon rack. So we'll actually fit 24 40 gallon racks in there. And then we're gonna do uh, four rows of 15 uh, 20 longs. So it'll be 60 20 longs, 24 40 gallon breeders. So a total of 84 tanks. All right, so this is exactly what the rows in the other room are gonna look. We're gonna have two rows identical to this. You got 15 tanks on this side, 15 tanks on this side. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, five per row. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look really good. So we're gonna have this row. We're gonna have a middle section that looks just like this. It's actually gonna be more like this one um, because most of them are drilled. And so we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. They're actually drilled out the back on this side. And then you're gonna come down and then we're gonna have another row just like this one. And then this side of the room is gonna be the 40 gallon breeders. Um, and then we're actually gonna have a sink or a table in the corner like this, a little countertop, another big long countertop, um, but the sink's gonna be right here in this room. So to give you an idea, this will be countertop, that will be the sink over there, and uh, we're gonna make it look pretty. And Mark, Mark has the fun job of taking the rest of the ceiling out. Well, Rob's helping. Oh, Rob's here for emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we got going on today. Um, I don't think we'll get it all done, but we'll definitely put a dent into it. All right, it is currently Monday. I'm gonna post this video tomorrow. This is the progress. We got three of the things out. This is going a little slower than we wanted, but we got a lot of other things going on, which is why we haven't finished this project because we have we actually have something cool coming up. But I did want to show you this. We are reusing this tarp. I bought this like 
three years ago, two years ago. Um, it was to stop uh, humidity, but you know, it was the stupidest idea I've ever had. But we did have this laying around, so I put it over here so um, the shrimp that are under there wouldn't get affected by the dust because there's like tons of rust that comes down. The insulation puts so much dust in the air, like you're coughing. Oh, it's, it's terrible. But anyway, so that's what we had going on. And here is what we're doing. This is why we can't finish this project just quite yet. Um, a lot going on. Aquashella. If you haven't heard of Aquashella, it is this weekend coming up. It's by the time you see this video, which will be Tuesday, it's five days away. Um, actually, it's yeah, five days away, something like that. It's Saturday and Sunday of this coming week in Chicago. It's the replacement of the aquatic experience. It's called Aquashella. Let me show you this little preview about it. It's from our man Coralfish 12G George. Um, he's put on the show and he's really hooking it up for the YouTubers. There's going to be some big names there. Aquarium Co-op, Aquarium Co-op, Aqua Pros, um, I mean the list goes on and on, Creative Pet Keeping, uh, Lucas Brett's, Kang Lee, so many others, Inappropriate Reefer, like there are just so many people coming. I am like thrilled to spend some time with some other YouTubers, uh, do some videos with them. And so watch this preview. If you guys want to check, check out Aquashella, go to aquashella.com. Uh, you can purchase some tickets there. But it is going to be like a crazy experience. So watch this video and I will talk to you guys soon. A brand new aquarium festival is coming to the city of Chicago this summer, and it's called Aquashella. Good morning, Chicago. I really don't know how to describe it, but it feels like you're entering an alternate These underwater guys universe. are displaying freshwater and saltwater aquariums in unison with art. So apparently, the way this works is everyone who attends the event gets a special pair of UV glasses. And when you put them on, they reveal all the fluorescent colors in the aquatic animals and art. 